see like what pictures is like though. Damn, I'm still here. <laughs> Grayer and older through the pictures and then you remember the old times and uh, the good times, the bad times and uh, you know just like you appreciate to still be here, you know, doing, doing basically what I uh, like. It's a great feeling. I mean Paul I think we have a relationship that is almost like brothers, you know. Uh, we lived together, he came to my house when Sepultura moved to Sao Paulo. He was the first one who opened his house when I first went to Belo Horizonte, you know, to meet everybody, to join the band and etc. It's a love-hate relationship, I think. <laughs> it's very natural, you know, it's like brothers, really. We know each other very well, you know, we, we know our families, all our adventures, <laughs> you know, on the road. It is a very closed and intense, you know, relationship. It's really good to make part of the Sepultura family. I spend most of the time of my life with these guys nowadays. We stay more time traveling on, on the road than staying at home. I love to be with these guys. I've learned a lot. Like all the, all the time that I'm traveling or spending some time together, we talk a lot, we have like great conversations. So I'm learning a lot all the time. The Sepultura family and my family, are different worlds and at the same time the same <laughs> you know it's like a ramification of what we do we know each other Paulo is the grandfather for my my first child you know I was the godfather for Max's first son Zion of course Max and Eagle were brother when he started the band uh, Max and Gloria our manager married you know so we always had like a really strong family ties you know at the same time that was really cool it started a lot, a lot of problems as well, you know. You have to be careful to put business and family, friendship on, on different sides. You can talk about business stuff, you can fight over business stuff, and you can talk about personal stuff, and also fight about personal stuff, you know. There are different things. That's our challenge, daily challenge. It's hard, of course it's hard, it's not easy, but in the end I think it's worth it, you know, because you have people you trust around you. We've been doing this since we kids, I'm just... Very used to, you know what I mean? Chico said that we're still here. still here together. I think it's very important that um, that base, you know, I mean, him holding up lots of different situations and problems and and big challenges, and and in the end we are here, you know, still jamming, enjoying uh, the company of each other on stage and and having a great time, you know. Sometimes I want to kill him. But that's, that's okay, it's normal. I guess he feels the same. <laughs>
other thing that drives me is being on stage, being able to show your art and having that feedback immediately of what you're doing is a pretty incredible feeling. Um, I haven't found anything like that ever um, doing anything else. It never gets old. It's always something fresh each time stepping on the stage. You've been working your whole life doing music, playing in bands, and then I had a chance to, to be a part of something that's really special. The last thing I'm thinking about is like a stranger you know, in another place I don't know who's writing online. It doesn't really matter at that point. Eu quero tocar porque eu gosto. É mais importante a minha vida. E, e mais, eu não conheço uh, uh, Max ou uh, nada de uh, uh, pessoas pensando, mas para mim é mais importante uh, uh, tocar e cantar coisas eu gosto. able to be on stage and prove yourself and, and record, you know, is enough for me as a musician, you know, to really get to know the guys, you know, it was like in my head that I wanted to have like an evolution as far as like being with the band and just growing with them. What you are is what you learn.